Okay. I'm going to try to descale this motor. I'm going to, I put a, a gallon of this Riddle Eye Marine in this 85 gallon container. I'm filling up with water and let it, I'm going to let it run. See, see what happens. And uh, it was overheating. I changed out the thermostats. And um, I put a new impeller in it and still overheats. But the temperature says 170. But the computer, the MMM, still says it's too hot. And it gives me a code 29 shutdown. So we'll see what happens. gallon bucket one gallon of this middle arm marine beef scaling yeah it works and I will follow up on this I'm going to keep an eye on the temperature. Right now it measures 38 degrees Celsius, which is 37 degrees Celsius. I think uh, 56 is, uh, or 55 degrees Celsius is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I found a small issue here. This T right here, it had this foreign object here, which is, looks like a barnacle or something, I don't know what it is. This was right there at the T. And this T goes right here on these hoses. And, uh, Hooks up this hose and this one here. This is the one that one and that one and that one. And this hose is the one that goes to the EMM, which is the I think it's called engine management module. That's what it is. Which is right under there. And I was getting no water coming out right there on the other side. So I'm going to put everything back together after I already took that foreign object out. Put everything back together and see if it works. See if I get water on the other side. Stay tuned. Okay. 
I hooked up the T back in there. All right, and then uh, this line here, the line that you can see, be able to see it up on top there, that goes to the to the module that's here, and then it'll come out here before it'll come out right here before it ha had it running. No water came out of here, none. So I'm gonna start it up right now. See if I got water coming out of here. Let's see. So I wanted to replace this flat rubber washer. You can see it's it's bent right there on this side. And I'm gonna replace it with this new one. This brand new one here. Okay, there's a new one on there. See and here's the old one. As you can tell the old one was flat on one side. I don't know why, but it was there. So, and the thermostat is brand new. So, I'm gonna leave it, leave it there. I'm also gonna replace this O-ring right here with this new one. Place that one and that. Okay, new O-ring in place. New thermostat washer. And let's put this back together. There. And then this one. Hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> this one is much easier to install than the other side. The other side has a lot of lines going through it and it could be um, easy to cross thread so you got to be careful. On this one here, just snug it up where it makes good contact. can't be too tight. Then we're going to get the holes. <clears throat> Pretty tight. It's on there. Now this side is the one that's a little trickier because it's in there. But uh, I've already moved it once, so I think I can do it. I have to pause the camera so I can uh, use both hands. Okay, I think I got it. I want to cross thread it. It's snug in there, and I'm going to tighten it. in there. Now, this is correct. Now the covers, and we'll be ready to roll. I'll go take it for a test drive this afternoon. See what happens. Here's what was in there. Uh, it's not a whole lot, so I'm guessing it was just uh, that clogged up uh, line going to the EMM engine module management engine management module because uh, that's all I got out of it still stuff in it not a whole lot I might have lost some of it when I was draining it but not a whole lot so hopefully next time I'll just flush it more often okay I got it all put back together now I'm pretty sure it fixed the problem got a lot of water now so very cool I'm going to take it out for a test run tomorrow and see how see how it does I'm pretty confident it'll work if it don't work, I'll give you guys an update.
seemed like it worked. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you got it. Everything's working good. That was the bottom. Just got a little bit of foreign objects stuck in that in that feed, causing the computer not to get any water. I'm happy about it. Oh, good. The entire DIY guy here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment. I learned a lot on this motor. See you guys later.